Hello failures, this is part 2 of a series where I'm trying to beat all of Terraria using only yo-yos. Since last episode I only beat one boss, I'm going to try beat the entirety of pre-hard mode this episode, which means beating the wall of flesh. First boss on my hit list was Skeletron, since he decided that he wanted to bully me last episode and he ripped out my skull. I decided that all the skull ripping is probably not good for my health, so I took to the skies to get myself some better loot, which I got- before I went over to the dungeon arena and started preparing myself for another fight with Bone Man. Then I suddenly decided that I want to go fight Worm Man instead, because I have no idea what I'm doing. I went back to spawn and decided to build my arena directly next to my base in the Corruption, because I need to be in the Corruption to spawn the Eater of Worlds. I placed down a bunch of wooden platforms and prepared myself to fight the boss that was going to be extremely difficult. I then summoned a long purple squiggly thing that I like to imagine would be very squishy. This boss was actually too short to hit me, so I had to sit near the ground for most of the fight before I unwillingly fell into the cave system and had a bit of a panic moment before killing the squishy worm man. Now after I killed the Eater of Worlds, better known as your mother, I went to actually fight Skeletron for real this time. I summoned him up outside the dungeon, and used the advanced strategy of just winging it and hoping for the best. I dodged over and over and over again, until I took out both of his hands and went straight for the head. Since this is classic mode and not master mode or expert mode, this was really easy since the skull head didn't do anything. So feeling like an absolute giga chad, I went straight into the dungeons, and then realized that the entire thing was blocked off. Now I went back to base, no longer feeling like an absolute giga chad, and uh... Feeling like a micro, micro chat? I summoned the goblin army to hopefully beat it and unlock the NPC, Goblin Tinkerer. Also better known to me as the Goblin Stinkerer, for his amazing scam artist abilities and money laundering schemes. After I defeated the goblin army, without dying once by the way, I went into the caves to try and find the Goblin Stinkerer, which wasn't that bad because I could smell his scamming body from a mile away. I stole some rocker boots off of him and also the stinkering station, and then went to go craft myself spectre boots and then lightning boots. Now I started to work on the elevator because hell plus elevator makes elevator. I think it sounds kind of cringe, but that's what everybody's calling it, so uh, too bad. Also, when I said I was going to work on the elevator, I actually meant to dig down just a little bit and then run off to the jungle to kill the queen bee to try craft myself a hive at five. Haha, -ha, funny bee puns game. Haha, -ha, yes. So I went to the jungle, found a beehive biome, and started the fight after building a small arena within the beehive. As soon as Queen Bee spawned in, I told her to buzz off, to which she actually did for about two seconds before flying right back at me. I took a couple hits and then decided that I was going to resort to plan B. I used all my buffs by pressing the B button, and after a little while I won the fight. I got my hive 5 yo-yo and also a bee mount, which is kind of cool I guess. Please comment. Wow, your bee mount is so cool, I should subscribe now, hee hee, if you think the bee mount is good. Next thing I did was go to the Goblin Stinkerer and reforge my new yo-yo to Godly, which is pretty cool. Even though Demonic or Legendary is better, I don't care, so don't tell me that. After killing Queen Bee, I was fully committed to beating pre-hard mode and entering hard mode by beating the Wall of Flesh in the Underworld. So I started my journey to hell, not by committing atrocities to humans, but by committing atrocities to my pickaxe. I mean, could you imagine being a piece of metal ripped out of the ground, then melted and then used to kill your fellow pieces of metal in the ground? Why am I saying- After I took way too long trying to get to hell, I got to work on making the platform, where I was gonna run from the wall of flesh. I also tried to kill as many mobs as possible in hell, hoping to get the cascade, which is the best yo-yo in pre-hard mode, and the best yo-yo I could have gotten at the time but I didn't get it because of my extreme amount of luck. I was confident that it would work very well, so I summoned the big meaty wall that tried to grab onto me with the hungries, and I knew that if those hungries overcame me, some unspeakable things were going to be done. I made sure to run away and run forward as well, trying to weave between the meaty wall's little arms. What am I say- What- I made sure to run away as far as possible from those stupid little hungries until they all died, and then I charged in trying to do some damage 
but despite my best efforts, the wall told me to die in hell and promptly ended my life by chasing me into a lava pond because my platforms ran out. I decided that the platform was way too short, so I extended it by a little bit more on both sides to hopefully have more running space, and I once again summoned the boss in. I also died once again, but this time to the lasers. After grinding for just a little bit more for the cascade, which I did not get because of my insane luck, I decided screw it and summoned the wall of flesh one last time, and I'm going to play some dramatic music to make this seem better than it actually was. Yeah, I beat the boss and entered hard mode, meaning that the spirits of light and dark or something like that were released. On that note, you should use your spirit to click the subscribe button. Cool transition, even though that didn't make any sense, but thanks for watching and goodbye. Join the Discord in the comments.